What's going on guys, Joe from SRHQ. Today we're gonna to take a look at a Schrade USA 108 OT Junior Stockman. This little guy right here. I have thoroughly been enjoying carrying this for the past few months. I really like the Schrade USA Old Timer series. Just check this out. We got 1095 carbon blades, saw cut, Delrin, nickel silver, brass liners, just a great little knife. These are the boxes they used to come in, kind of a wood grain pattern. A knife like granddad's. Eh, my granddad's were a bit different, but yeah, I get the point. So awesome little knife. I just want to give you guys a little comparison. I mean, this is a small knife. I, I really like small knives. You know, this is a great knife for dropping in the pocket, wearing in the watch pocket. You know, a knife when you have to wear a suit, <laughs> you know, when you just want to have a minimal carry, this is just a fantastic little compact utility blade. You have three blades. We have our main clip point blade. Very thin blade, comes to a nice point. You can get this 1095 screaming sharp. So yeah, this is a little blade, so you have to keep that in perspective. You're not gonna be using this for any major food prep, but stuff like opening a box, opening a letter, cut, cutting a thread off your clothing, you know, just normal stuff that you would use a knife for, this is going to do just fine. So let's just go ahead and give you guys a size comparison. This is known as their Junior Stockman. They have three different sizes. They have the Junior, they have the Middleman, which is a medium Stockman, and then they have the uh, Senior Stockman, which is a large Stockman. The Middleman Stockman is three and five sixteenths inch on the handle. I didn't mention the junior stockman is two and three quarters. So three and five sixteenths on the middleman stockman. This is the 34 OT. This one is not an American produced one. This one is made sometime after 2004 and this is a Chinese version. So yeah, they're not as refined as the American versions. They don't feel as good in hand the action isn't as good but they are fairly decent knives so think rough rider quality and that's that's what you're going to get with the chinese made um old timers at least in my experience so i don't have a 34 ot the uh middleman stockman um a u.s produced one but i do have a 33 ot this is the middleman jack it's on the same frame as the Middleman Stockman. It's just a jackknife. It just has a clip blade and a pen blade. I also don't have an example of a senior Stockman, but it's a four inch Stockman. And I do have this one from Cutmaster Utica Cutlery. Here's a four inch Stockman. And that's basically the sizes of Stockmans that Trade would offer in the old timer line. Of course, other companies also offered. Larger ones, here's a Remington. This is made by Camillus. Large Stockman for straight is four inches. This is four and a quarter inches. So I would call this an XL Stockman or a Jumbo Stockman. So here you see a range of the sizes for Stockman knives. You know, there, there's plenty of options out there. Whatever size you would need, you can find the, the right tool for the job. All right, let's just go ahead and focus on the Junior Stockman, the 108 OT. Great little knife. Like I mentioned, two and three quarter inch frame. So this is a tiny guy. Have our main clip point blade. 1095 carbon. And something about the 1095 that Schrade used, it just gets screaming dark. Here is, what is this? This is my 34 OT, my gunstock trapper. Check out that patina. It just gets black. So I love that. I've, I've used this one a lot. I really like how the edge holds. I really like how easy it is 
to maintain. I sharpened it up one time and then I've just been strapping it ever since. And it stays nice and sharp for me. So, very cool. I like how the steel is going to patina. This one, since I don't cut a lot of food with, it, it doesn't get a lot of patina. This one opens boxes. This one opens uh, letters. This one opens clamshell packages, which I will talk about on the second blade. This little sheep's foot blade is just amazing with clamshell packaging. You just pierce it in and you just rip right through it. Great little versatile blade. Any kind of pull cut you need to do. Packaging, plastic straps, tape. This thing's going to rip right through it. Such a thin little blade. The 1095 carbon. Great little blade. And then the last blade on this knife, instead of being a spay blade, like you would typically have on a stock when you have a little pen blade. So I can live with either one. You know, there are certain people out there that, that just absolutely hate the spay blade. So this might be a good option to get a stockman with a pen blade or a punch if you don't like the spay blade. But yeah, just a great little third blade. You can keep this one razor sharp as a backup. You can, you know, abuse this and use it for all the tasks that you're not really supposed to use a blade for. Whatever you want to do, the, the choice is yours. You can see here the tip from the sheep's foot blade is a little proud, but that is designed like that with all the blades closed. It's hidden. And when the blade is open, the height of the other blade protects your finger and you won't get cut. So very cool. Get you in on that shield, nickel silver shield, old timer. I don't believe they're pinned. I think they were just glued in. We have that saw cut Delrin, which I think looks great. I think it looks really good once you get a little bit of use on it and it starts getting darker and shinier. Yeah, very cool. This little Stockman has rounded bolsters. It's supposed to be easier on the pocket. Some uh, Stockmans have these squared bolsters. I honestly haven't really ever had a problem with squared bolsters, but they say round bolsters are easier on the pockets. So yeah, overall, really cool knife. These USA produced ones aren't made anymore. Schrade made this one from 1963 all the way up until 2004 when they shut their doors. So if you want the American made one, you're, you're going to have to look on the secondary on, on eBay or Etsy. They're all over the place and they're not very expensive. If you just be patient and you find a good one, I think you'll be really happy with this knife. I'm not sure if you can still get the Chinese version. I'm not sure if they make the Junior Stockman. Of course, they do make the uh, Middleman Stockman. Let me know down in the comments if they make this, the Junior Stockman in the Chinese line. But overall, great little knife. Really happy to have it in the collection. I love using it, and I just wanted to share it with you guys. So, hope you have a great day. Don't forget to like this video. Leave me a comment. Subscribe if you haven't already. And thanks a lot for watching.